Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a first impression video on the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. This guy looks like this and I first heard about it through Nikki Tutorials because she did like a whole like winter series and all she used was this foundation. So this foundation is 0.44 ounces, which is half the size of a normal foundation. Liquid foundations usually are about one ounce. In size. Um, the packaging says that this Ultra HD stick foundation feels like a second skin and still provides medium to full coverage while looking flawless and natural. It guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. It's perfect for touch-ups even though I would never use it to touch up. And I am in shade 117. So if you haven't seen him before, he looks like this. It's something completely different and out of my element since I'm usually a always a liquid foundation kind of girl. Just the lid pops off and then you are left with a roll up stick. Just like that. And that is my shade. It is the lightest of shades. 117 is the lightest shade that they offer on Sephora's website. So I have already moisturized and primed my face and now we are just going to get right into it. The way Nikki um, does it is she just like paints it on her face and then blends it all in with a beauty blender. So that's exactly what we're going to be trying. This is kind of fun, actually. Um, we're just gonna go with that. Hmm. And now for the beauty blender. It's impressive coverage. I did apply quite a bit of it, so if you don't want like this much coverage, just use a lighter hand, but I am a full coverage kind of girl all the time and it's starting to sink in and look super natural, almost too natural for my taste. You can still see some of my redness showing through. While it does have impressive coverage, I would say if you suffer from like severe acne, um, this probably won't be your favorite foundation because you can still you can still see the acne. So I would probably recommend this for someone um, with like almost like perfect skin already. I feel like you would really love this. Like Nikki, she has like flawless skin and like no pores. So probably should have guessed that. <laughs> okay, so for my concealer, I use Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless um, Complete Coverage Concealer. And if you are familiar with this concealer, you know that it's super potent. It's like a really high coverage concealer. And that's what I put underneath my eyes and around my nose. And that was the only way to really combat the redness that was still showing through. So already I'm going to say, if you have redness in your skin or anything like discoloration that you don't want coming through, the foundation is not gonna be strong enough. You're gonna have to go over on top with concealer. So I'm going to powder this. I'm not going to do like anything crazy with my makeup today. We're just kind of running errands. So I'm going to powder this, eyebrows, everything else, and then I will update you again. Okay, you guys, so it is currently 12.55, and I have finished with the rest of my makeup. Um, I like how it's looking so far. I do have to say that my skin looks a little dry, but I believe that's partially my fault because I haven't been taking really good care of my skin lately. Um, but it's a lot more like natural finish. I really thought it was going to turn out more dewy, but it's pretty matte. It might be a little too light for me, but that's okay as it sinks into my skin and as I go out and stuff, I'm sure it'll warm up and get a little bit darker. So yeah, we are about to go out to lunch and I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day. I think I like it. What time is it? It is 3.15. I've had this foundation on for probably two hours and it looks pretty good. There's no like excessive oil breakthrough. 
it's not rubbing off. I did pick at my skin a lot because I felt like I had like a hair on my face, but still looking good. I still have that foundation on. Um, as you can see, like it kind of wore off around the edges of my face and on my chin. Actually, here you can see it really, really bad, actually. So yeah, I'm probably not going to give it the best review ever. I'm not sure if it was the foundation that made it like just wore off so quickly or the fact that I had a scarf on today. Hey guys, I am back. It is 7 o'clock in the evening and I'm going to give you my final review of the Makeup Forever Invisible Stick Coverage Stick Foundation. Okay, so for being brutally honest here, I don't think it's that impressive. You can see how oily my skin is and you can see that the foundation just started to break through and my natural skin is showing through. You can see it all, right, all the way over here on my chin. You can see the oil deposits on the side of my nose and just everywhere. So my overall thoughts is that this foundation is not for me nor would I recommend, recommend it to any oily skinned girls out there or any girls who have any blemishes on their skin. Is it worth $43? Not in my opinion, no. If you have perfectly clear skin and are on the dry to normal side, then I think you could give this foundation a try. Although I do think there are better options on the market for $43. So those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think down below if you're willing to give it a try. I was so excited. I love the packaging. I just... Like you can see it in my skin, it's it's nothing special. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.